Hi, on the last video we've compiled our kernel ourselves, the latest kernel. And where do kernels come from? Good question. From kernel.org, that's where you need to go. So kernel.org. This is what we've installed. The 4.19.3.7. This is working on this uh, virtual box. So this is the reference. And it was released only on the 7th of October, and we're today the 11th. So about four days ago, uh, it was released, and it is already possible to install it just via the article we've, I've just been writing. So when it's in here, we refresh, and you'll see the article here as well. Nope, not yet. Let's refresh again. Okay, anyway, it will appear soon enough. How to install the Linux mainline kernel coming from AOR, there you are. So this article and this video is a continuation, how to get rid of it. So suppose you don't like this new kernel and you say, not on my machine, it's not handy to have the latest kernel and so on, get rid of it. What you need to do is again, like always, remove. So the pacman minus R, remove something, right? There is 973 things to remove. No, uh, Linux something. So what do we have? We have these things to remove, and there he is, mainline. So if you wanna get rid of it again, you say Linux mainline, get out of here. Much, that's not so much, 71 megabytes. And then last but not least, make sure you do a, a, a sudo update grub, and then everything will be just fine. So, yeah, my mistake, update grub is enough. And there you go. And then you do a sudo reboot, right? So remember, control T, we have now 4.19. We should have something lower when we reboot. And there we go. This is a virtual machine where I'm testing everything best idea ever and then try it on SSD and that's working too and we're back on the old one 4.18.12 not 19.7 so that there you go we have now uh, installed everything and uninstalled everything so the circle is around and have fun on your machine